the final after the first set, 25-23. Pabor sa uh, Banco Perla Spikers contest at the Moto Live Daily Eagles. But as we take a look at highlights of set number one, Noreen, Banco Perla Spikers led by as many as nine points yeah. in this set. Yeah, I mean, they, they started out they started out strong. You know, we talked about their, them being you know, calm and cool throughout the set. And uh, even though towards the end of the set, Ateneo Moto Knight Lady Eagles gave chase, diba? they put pressure on them. Still, no? they showed us their experience. You know, that's why they, they're called veteran. So they won that set for Ateneo. One thing you have to learn about that first set, that moment that you gave chase, it had straight points. Yun. So you know, mo, Nasabi rin ni Coach O, kaya mo. So you have to believe that you can do it. But you cannot wait till the opponents have a 9-point lead, 10-point lead or so to, to, to start moving. You have to, from the start, yun na. Parang go neck and neck with your opponent. Zier Vasho uh, with a great finish by the Perla Spikers. But not to discount contributions off the bench ng Lady Eagles. That's allowed them na makahabol ng dulo. Yeah, well, in terms of numbers, attacks went for us this way, 15 to 11, blocks even, service, 4 to 1. This is when they were, you know, they were chasing, uh, I think, about 2 or 3 by Jules Samonte at that uh, first set. Errors pretty much even. So, basically, again, we, we say pa Banco Perda is just showing us their their composure in that set. Well, the uh, first two meetings were all three setters. You know, malaking katano kung ngayon. Well, uh, Ateneo, uh, Motolite, bounce back into the set number two. And they are to a good start with Tolentino scoring the first point into the set. Yeah, but what, uh, what, what, what's nice then also in that first set, no? they showed also it's not all Catalentino. Bonga and Gaston made a really good first set. But one thing, Captain, as we look at this person who's about to serve, one thing that we want to see are the middle blockers getting more involved, meaning that uh, the receptions there. So the likes of Amadi Madag and Abea De Leon will get the set into the block. Samantala, ang paramdam ng maaga si Zihar Vasho. In the first set, she was more uh, defensive-oriented. Ano? Puro digs and a few attacks. But let's also mention, balik tayo sa atin ngayon, um, Jules Samonte, uh, napaupo niya. Uh, with her performance, Vanny Gantler has not started here in set the number one. two because of how uh, Jules Samonte finished set number one. Yeah, and you know, not, not nothing to say about Gantler that she played bad or anything. She didn't. Sir, she didn't play passion. bad. It's just that Coach O at that time, looking for a change. Oh. You know, you, you, we always say that important in chemistry and team. So when Samonte came in, good things happened to Atene. Good save para kay Wong. Free ball. Para sa Perla Spikers, Jeff Ferrer, Nicole Tiamzon, down the line, yes! The UP combination there. What was it? Sola as a decoy and Tiamzon, or Tiami, for the kill. And Perla Spikers. Service. Balik sa kalabangan, three serving one, set number two. Another poor reception para sa Lady Eagles. Free ball ulit. Para sa Perla Spikers, Roses! Yes! Roses of the hand of Samonte. You really see, no? Even Four, Jim Ferrer, how comfortable one. she is. She knows she can go to any of these three players. Make that four. Oh. That's easy here, Vasho. Kulan na lang, iset na rin niya kay Sir Giselle Tan. <laughs> oh! Almost a great serve. It seemed like he was just on the line. It looked like it was on the it line. It looked like on the line. Inside. Inside. Malimo. Clearly on the line. Good Five. reversal. The, uh, the second referee, Perdido Eusebio, Shannon Sabi, was on the line. Service. Rene Gaspino, first referee, made the correct call. Sabi, ano? Malimo. Okay na po, okay. <laughs> Six to one. Well, he did call outside. He so. Did. So you got, I, I like it when the second referees, they, they stress out. No, it was in. Yeah. Was, you know, they changed the call. Service. Hervasha. So after... Starting off 1-0 uh, para sa Ateneo Motolite. Eh, six straight points para sa Perla Spikers. They are up 6-1. Cap Tolentino. 
Valentino yes. off the block to serving six. But you know the problem with Ateneo is okay, the, the score one point, take the opponent score one, two, three points, and they'll score one point. You know they have to remember how to be chased. The back and stops. You have to make stops. Poor first ball. Para kay uh, Ella De Jesus. So two straight points for uh, Lady Eagles. Service. Tolentino. Good serve. Comes on. Wow, even Jamzon. that far from Through the net. The and parang off speed nila. Seven. Serving three. Medyo mabagal kumalaw ang depensa. No coverage to rin uh, nitong Lady Eagles right now. Yeah, that was painful to see kasi nga sayang. Because par parang, kumbaga, hindi naman chance ball, but it's a, a fairly easier so, spike. Pero yun nga, parang slow to react. Uh, to, you know, they're slow to react. So, they got the point. Ravena, inangat. There's Samonte. Good to see it again. Para kay uh, G. Hervasio. An Dakaron. easy point. Para kay Dakaron. It wasn't a direct First downward attack. No? It was more of a slow tip. Three. Pero Ateneo, Motla. Ateneo nowhere near the ball that time. 8-3 for the Spikers contra sa Lady Eagles set number 2. Welcome back sa Piloy Flying B Center. And uh, those watching us on Liga. Ito po ang uh, day number 1. Now at the semi-finals, best of three in the Open Conference and Premier Volleyball League. In our first game today, a four-set win para sa Green Line Cool Smashers contra sa Petrogas Angels. Samantalang, uh, dito sa matchup between the number two seed of Banco Perla Spikers and the number three seeds Ateneo Modolite Lady Eagles. One set para sa Perla Spikers and they are up 8-3 here in set number two. Yeah, they're looking good. Uh, of course, uh, they're really looking at getting into the finals with Conference and First, what better way to do it than to an opponent yeah, that you've already so. beaten twice so in, this, in the, the same one fight? Former GP Lady Fighting Peru, Kathy Rosola with a good serve. A future doctor. And that's right. <laughs> Too close to the net that time. Ah, pero na gawa pa rin ang paraan. Jeff Peler, such an excellent serve. Nine, serving three. Pagkahatid kay Kiam Zun. Oh. You know, that's what's nice also about these uh, like teams Service. like Banco Berlas, Persol, club teams, corporate teams. Because, hindi ka, because you don't, like, hindi ka nanimisa sa setter. Sometimes, yun yung mali ng collegiate teams, eh. May sisihan niya na. Yeah, because of runner. familiarity. Ito, because Four. you're, not, from, you're not all from the same school. You didn't grow up together. It's parang, meron kang respect slash taco, da? So, walang sisihan yan eh. That's the one thing that you learn through the years. Na walang sumiyari. Uh -oh. When you, so when you, you know, put the blame on your teammates. Jumps on. Again, she finds a way. Her two blockers down the line. Tolentino was there. And Samonte, well, she still found a way to score. Yep. Smart hit. It's there. Actually, the tong game, yung mga hits niya, talaga yung captain, looking through the blockers, eh. Di lang nakapalo ng palo. Six-point lead for Banco Perlas. Oh, but it's Gaston. She's been the one that's unmarked para sa Ateneo Motolite. And I'm sure the fans of the Ateneo Motolite Lady Eagles are so excited to see her in the coming UAAP season. Right now, it's parang valuable si Mongkay Gaston. He's not as scouted as Madumadaya as Kato Lentino. One to play, Jem Perer, medyo malakas. Six, serving ten. Overcooked lang. We've seen her do that lots of times. And the percentage is not so She's made it more than she's missed it. Yep. Service. Madaya. If you count even on college days, she's made it more than she's missed. That's true. Takoron with a tip. Let's take a look at our uh, tweets. Uh, Cruz, Dominic, Josh. Call them Cruz, Dominic, Josh. Go Ateneo Motolite. Go, go, Bay again. And Bong Gaston. Laban lang hanggang sa dulo ng game. Yeah, and uh, Ethel, Sir, Alain, the block of Pernas is working and they are having an easy time. Canutino gives Ateneo some hope. That is true. Uh, on on the hashtag, PBL on ABS-CBN. There's another point seven. para kay uh, 
jumps on. As uh, Perla Spikers in control, not just of the set, but of this match. Champion, Yamzo. They're winning the first one, 25 23. Yeah, so far they're keeping Ateneo at bay, you know, so that's a good sign for them. Valentino. Herbasho. Wow. Herbasho nails it in. See, Herbasho. Well, she doesn't attack very often in this game, but once she does, hey, no. it's a statement. Look at that. Almost sa attack by the Bogsak yung bola, ganun ka. Yung angulo. Ay, it's a timeout on the floor. We'll listen to Ateneo. Ibigay mo na yung kabila! Daan di na naman! How many times should I tell you? You're waiting for them to attack your hand. Get the ball, reach over, and then press! Don't wait for them to attack. Kapag hindi tayo matake, wala na. Pumunta ka na doon, area mo yan. Your right hand should be active. Hey, don't say yes. We don't understand. Do you understand? Five points on the Burma Spikers here in the second set. Jans! Itawa ka na naman ang tawad. Eh, wala na naman sa focus yan eh. There's Mozi Ravenna. Bong Ravenna as well. Watching Danny play for the Lady Eagles. Always very yeah. supportive of all their athletes and their children. Super yeah. I don't Thirteen. know how they find the time to be Nine honest. Seven. And you're looking at Mr. Mon Paterno on uh, the left side of your screen. Mr. Service. Jess Montemayor, uh, Motolite President. Uh, so Mr. Mon Paterno, well, head of right, financial right products and services of up. BPI. 8-13. 13-8. Oh, good dig. Navasho, block. Navasho, Good denied. defense at the net by the Lady Nine. Eagles. 13. Yeah, that's one name, that person. That's one name we haven't really spoken. We haven't spoken her name. Service. Wong. Gina Wong to serve for the Lady Eagles. Herbasho. Again. Herbasho. Mabawi ka agad. 14 to 9. Yeah, you know, sayang because they were there. They just froze. They just died in the center. Look at this. Perfect slow-mo. They just died in the center of 1, 2, 3, 4. Serving for bounce. We've seen that several times uh, dito sa laban na to. Noreen. Ah, pero That's ito. Pong for Gaston right. again. 10. Hindi nakatutok sa kanya ang depensa dito mga Banco Perlas. Kita-kita natin, most of the points she scored, libre-libre siya. And when there are blockers, talagang sinachallenge siya. Like, oh my God, Jeff Greer, the smaller blocker. She's playing it smart here in this match. Good set para kay Kat Oh, a soft touch. Tineon! Para kay Bea Tineon. Natineon. Fighting back here. They are within three. Sue Rosses had her, had her arms ready stretched out to get it. Look at this, look at this slow mo. She was there. Oh no! <laughs> Sir, just a beater to it. 11 serving, 14. That's one. Uh, Major Mababa, you know, Wong Vega These are the things that they have to check. You know, because, again, when you're down, you don't want to give more freebies to your opponents. Jen Ferrer. The and they were sort of having momentum. Buwang balik nasa kanila, papadik nasa kanila ang momentum as uh, Samonte was blocked. Process blocked by Samonte. Ahabol Giselle Tan, what a save! Oh, but Valentino, with a kill. Yeah, good effort well, by Tan, but the Valentino, 15. that's what you want to see. You know, you stay your ground until the ball hits or touches the ground. Diba, nandun si Tolentino kept her eyes on the ball and then she she got that point. Stay in the play. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. people, kung, diba, kung hindi nag-chase ng malayo, they let it be. Oh, yeah. nag-celebrate na oh. agad. Minsan, ano? That's gonna be a lifting, or 
Uh, double contact yes. para kay Cat Persona, Persona and Ateneo. Here 13, they come. Here they come. Dalawa na lang, hinahapon ng Ateneo Montalite. 13 serving 15. Service. They have Ateneo. to serve. Carapaccio. Block. Pabalik ulit sila kay Z. Oh, Z, Basso yes. Basso wipes it off the block. Block B once. It's okay. Second I'll get you the second Bangu time. That's what Zier Bashi says. 16 13. Tatlo kalabangan ng Banco Perlas kontra sa Ateneo Montolite set number two. Banco Perlas Spikers winning set number one, 25 23, and they are up 16 13. Dito sa set number two. Wala po tayo dito sa Biloy Flying B uh, Center sa San Juan. Magandang gabi sa mga nanonood sa Liga. Magandang hapon kung nanonood here sa SNA. A nice-sized crowd enjoying oh, this match. Yes. Punta tayo sa report ni Judy Sarin. Eric, ano rin kahit na hindi nakuha ng atin na yung Motolite Lady Eagles ang unang set at kasalukuyan ng hinahapon nila ang puntos ngayon. At uh, hindi pa rin nawawala ng pag-asa ang mga atin na yung fans. Katulad na nga lang ng kasama ko ngayon na si Limuel sa Balboro na mula pa sa Fairview at hindi ininda ang traffic para lang makapunta dito sa Filo Flying D Arena. Limuel, una-una sa lahat. As a fan, ano bang pakiramdam ko yung kinakabahan ka ba para sa atin na yung? Medyo confident po ako ngayon kasi po, second set, kaya kaya po nilang abulin yan. At great trust and courage po. At intact na po yung light up nila for this coming UAAP season. And having said that, ano pa sa tingin mo yung may a-advise mo sa kanila para maihabol pa ang puntos ngayong second set? Uh, masasabi ko lang po sa po ang Ateneo Lady Eagles ay uh, maging consistent po at makinig po lagi kay Coach O sa time out po nila at uh, po, para sa buong team na rin po. Thank you. Thank you, Limuel. Balik sa inyo, Eric and Rudy. Maraming salamat, Judy. Maraming salamat kay Limuel. Malayo-layo biyaya na Fairview. Tapos pabalik pa siya yung traffic northbound Sir, mamaya sa edge. That's love for you. Oo, love for the game. Kung si Z may lagnat naglalaro, eh wala ka rin palusot kahit galing ng Fairview. Oh. <laughs> wow. Great defense and offense. Pinapakita ngayon ng uh, Perla Spikers. Tiamzon. Outside. Too wide. Number 14. Uh, 18. What coverage there from Zier Basho? Oh, actually, for Ateneo as well. That was a great block by Kathy Bersona. Yeah. But ito, uh, the miss so na na Oh, it's not bad. Motorite dive in the game. Para kay Zier Basho. I mean, she's been doing that since set number one. Yeah. Process. Cross court. Ganda nung dig. Yeah. Si Kat Tolentino. Samonte, off speed. Ando na naman si Z. Process. Oh, again. Tolentino, uh, but Rosses. that time around, we're second, second touch draw. for Ateneo Motolai. 19-14. But you can see Tolentino showing us also defense. She yeah. can do defense. Kathy Bersola serving for the Perla Spikers. Five-point lead para sa Perla Spikers. 19-14. Samonte. Pinangat ni Rosses. Ferrer. Back row attack. Herbasho, yes. Back row wow, attack. Set. What a disguise there. 20, 14. The Lady Eagles did not know who to block. Kita nila biglang back set in a low set at that. For Z Herbasho. Itong uh, Perla Spikers na rin. Playing a Persona. very high level of volleyball. Yeah. I mean, against a team that, you know, one of the top teams, not just collegiate teams, you know, one of the top teams in the Open Conference. Mm -hmm. Takorod. Quick attack. And para na... 14. Substitution. Deja vu. Ika nga. First set. 21-14. It was 21-12. Nung humabo lang Ateneo in the first set. Well, this time, Coach O puts in Gantler. And hoping na ito naman, somebody different to, you know, spice things up. Let's see. May maayahatid siyang pagbabago. Para sa oh, Lady Eagles. A, what a serve by Kathy yeah, Bersola. Kathy Bersola, no? Jamzon with a left-handed push. Wow! Left-hand, right-hand. Kahit ano gamitin nitong uh, Perla Spikers, eh, puntos, automatic. That's focus for you. And I got another timeout here. Atene, para kay Coach line. Oliver Almadro, pakinggan natin ng Lady Eagles. Girls, nagiging doggy ng effect eh. Malik lang nila pang kanina. May isa-isa. Bawi ako, bawi ako. Kakagat kakasori natin. They're making a point. 
Every sorry is a point. Why are you looking at the ball with both jaws? Sang ka pati defense. Why are you waiting for Kat to get it? I want Kat to start here. You two, you really have to defend. Pangalawa, huwag niyong madaliin yung receive. Hindi malakas yung serve. Minam, gusto niyo ibalik agad. Kaya dumagulat eh. Again, girls, think of your movement first. Masyado tayong steps sa gagawin nila. Nakaka-defensa naman tayo eh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go here in the seventh set. We're the Spikers on top. Well, let's remember, Ateneo, Motolite, napakagandang run at 21-12 in the first set. I think it's nila into a two-point game. Sa dulo, no? Let's see if they have another run in them, Nuri. Yep. But they got to start with a stop right now. That's an ace. And as you say that, it is now 9 para sa Perla Spikers of a service ace ni Kat Bersola. Yeah, you know... What's, what's been able to look at for at the nearest, when you look at them here so far with the score 14 service, 23 serving 14 personal. They were very quiet tonight. They, that's the one I didn't happy, happy with them. Nadi Madaya finally. Naputol yung napakahabang scoring run in the Berna Spikers. And that was off a perfect reception by Ganter. And you know, Wong able to utilize. Mga middle hitters na at this time, Maddie Madaya. You know, we actually, we, do, we didn't see it that often in the first set. And here also in the second set. Yamzong, well Here's a mini two-point run para sa 16, uh, Lady 20. Eagles. As you, uh, you take a look at Erica D, Athletics Director of Ateneo. And don't look now, pero si... Jules Samonte, next to serve. <laughs> she was the server nung mahabang run ng Ateneo towards the end of set number one. So as the rotation, you're right, Eric. Gandler. Oh. Gandler, off the It's a three-point run, Noreen, <laughs> para sa <laughs> Lady Eagles. Uh, talk about deja vu as uh, tatawag naman ng timeout. Timeout. Si Coach Dong Dara Cruz, makikin natin ang Perla Spikers. ng momentum going to the third set. Huli na natin kaagad. Kung kaya natin silang idein ngayon, idein na natin para yung fourth set, kahit third set, mawalan sila ng gana. Okay? Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Burlas! Yung pala yung secret. Diinan mo na sa second set para mawalan ng gana ng third set. I'm sure Coach Dong knows. Well, not the players at all. Everybody watches that. Coach Dong, kinata niya ng mga players. I'm sure kinata rin na si Coach O. Small community. Let's yes. take a look at DJ Louie. Uh, Serving for Atene Modline. Number four. Uh, Jules Samonte. Papa Tuk-Tuk. Aunted sa mga fans. The BBA dito sa Piloy Flying D Center. Rosses! And Aputo na yung uh, three-point drive. Na Atene. Unlike the first set. Set point. Uh, one set, set by Jem Ferrer. One hand set there. To so, leave it in your play. And that's what you want. Yeah. Service. Set Zoom point. Wrong. Perla Spikers 24, serving 17. Gandler. Yes. Gandler. It's a spot. 18, Martin there. Beyond the attack line. Nadi Madai. Serving Dayan. for Anthony Mowgli. Nahanap kung sino ang serve na to. Coron. Wong to Gandler. Ooh, that could have been outside. Gandler but Kinuha didn't see her basho. I think she knows it. Yeah. 19. 24. Well, it is still possible for Ateneo Muto Light. 85. Service. To get back in the game. Madi Madar. Mr. Paras right there. Sino bang pinapanood ni uh, Kobe? Di alam ni Norino. Talo ka ng sakat utak. Hello, Gaston. That's right. Bongga yung Gaston. Kasi titweet ka na ng mga viewers for sure. And there is the final point in the hanap. The Perna Spikers. Set point. We'll finish off Ateneo Motolite here in set number two. We get the set at 25 to 19. Not that rally we wanted to see, but better ending naman to the second set. So, well, Banco Perla Spikers, two sets to nothing. Contas Ateneo Motolite, Lady Eagles.